we, the loyal followers of Empress Kinder Spirit, were granted eternal life when we followed her example by giving up our corporeal bodies to the volcano and becoming the spiritual beings you now see before you. Do not weep for us, as we have evolved beyond life as you know it. You're here early. Oh, hey, yep. I made sure to be here first thing. Surprised the others haven't shown up yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to rep the whole alliance on our own, huh? <laughs> no pressure. Eh, we'd still dominate the competition. Oh, dude, totally. They, they won't know what hit them. <laughs> I don't know how you managed to stay so calm all the time. It's because I don't have anything to lose, so it helps me stay focused. I get that, but I'm in a similar boat and somehow I don't feel the same. I have, like, the least amount riding on this competition compared to everyone else. And yet, I'm feeling this massive sense of responsibility. Like somehow, everything's on me. But it's not like you're doing this alone. I know. I... That's not what I meant. I, I don't mean like I'm the only one who can get us to win this thing. It's the opposite. I mean, I'm worried that everything's gonna ride on if I do or don't screw this up somehow. Every one of the past three weeks, I've done something stupid that's messed with our chances of entering into the last few events. It's been making me feel like I'm more of a problem to deal with than a real contributing member of the guild, you know? You know that's not true. We talked about this. But it still just keeps happening so often. Every time I go out on a mission, I'm terrified I'm gonna make another mistake. Everybody's doing their part, and I'm trying my hardest too, but this is our last chance. I've never been more scared of screwing things up than I am today. I almost wanted to call in sick this morning. But I know that wouldn't have fixed anything. You've already been helping out a lot. Don't forget that. I... Yeah, you're right. I won't forget. <laughs> the caffeination is real, comrades! Whoa! Uh, hi! Morning! Or whatever it is in the UK right now. Uh, I've arrived. Well, don't celebrate all at once. How long have you guys been here? This knight had only just arrived on a rainbow of sugar and espresso. All is well, Sir Kabafa. Ahem. <clears throat> How art thou of the Alliance feeling this morn? If we're being honest, not well rested. Was up pretty late getting some training in. You too, huh? Wouldn't you know it, as soon as I start getting some normal sleep again, I go right back to being all upside down. But I couldn't help myself, really. I... Nylock, dragon of remaining awake till the glorious sun's next rising! Fully admit, it is becoming increasingly difficult to tell precisely which day is the present. No mistaking it, today's the big day. It'll be either the day we officially make it to the finals, or the last day of our part in the campaign of champions as a whole. Let me guess, you didn't catch too many winks last night either? <laughs> what is sleep? I guess we all got so wrapped up in wanting to be ready for tomorrow, we forgot when tomorrow became today. <laughs> Seriously, I feel kind of bad after seeing Steph's email saying we should all get sleep too. Though, I'm gonna feel even worse when I gotta tell her I didn't get any at all. Did you stay up all night? Thought you said you were going to bed when I logged off. I couldn't sleep, so... But I took breaks, I swear. I, I wasn't gonna fry my brain against a monitor for 12 hours straight. Oh, well, way to show us up with your undying dedication. Honored Guildmaster, the Dandy Alliance Plus is at thy command. Ladies and gentlemen, I am running on fumes. Thankfully, they're fumes of burning passion. I 
don't feel bad anymore. We're all gonna die of exhaustion before the event even starts. Hm. Never. First things first. Before we go in there and roast the other three guilds into soot. Let's make any last couple adjustments we gotta make. Hattie, if you got any other orbs of unity up your sleeve, now's the time. Ready. Nye, some classic words of encouragement, please. Ahem! <laughs> Comrades, the fated time has arrived. No longer shall we be denied the coveted seat at the Campaign of Champions Final Frontier. We fight with supreme determination and unyielding strength. So rally, noble knights! The Dandy Alliance Plus must walk away victorious on this day! I'm awake now. How about you, burning flame of passion? <sighs> the mission is as simple as this. We reach the target before the other three guilds, wreck them if they either get it first or try to take it from us. Then we run back out the other way and bring home the gold. We stick together so we can switch to any combination we need for any situation at any moment. There's bound to be a wild card or two during this whole thing, and I got a feeling it's gonna be over before we know it. The odds feel completely overwhelming, but I know there's still a real chance we can win if we pull together. And if we don't, then thank you all for everything you've done for me. Thank us after. Let's get in there. The time, the time has, has finally, finally come, come, my brave, brave beautiful, beautiful warriors. warriors. It is the, the fated day, day of Mount Mulberry's, Mulberry's eruption, eruption, where the, the destiny, destiny of Orange, Orange Island, Island shall, shall be decided by your valiant efforts. efforts. The, the four, four guilds, guilds that stand, stand before me have been handpicked by my faithful, faithful spirit guides, guides, who have carefully observed the actions of each warrior that volunteered to undertake such a dangerous trial. You are all here because of your selflessness and courageousness, and I, for one, have faith that one of the intrepid team standing before me will indeed free this island from its curse. I have invited the esteemed emissaries of our godly webmaster to assist me in informing you all of the mission's details. Hey, 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 everybody! Miss me? Forever here, yet again, hosting the Campaign of Champions' fourth and final regional event, dispelling the curse of Mount Mulberry. We're streaming live from just outside the Orange Island's Honeydew Hotel, but very soon, we'll be switching your view of the action over to the four corners of the volcanic Mulberry Mountain Trail, where these four teams will compete for one final opportunity. If you've been following our coverage these past few weeks, then you'll know full well that the winning guild of this event will not only receive a $2,000 prize, but will take the last available slot to compete in the Campaign of Champions final competition. For this heated mission, our four competing guilds consist of The Last Resorters at five members The Solo Entrant 9000 Killstreak The New Victors at four members And last but not least, making their fourth consistent appearance The Dandy Alliance Plus at seven members Your mission is as follows, warriors Each of your teams will begin at an opposing foot of the mountain making your way up the path as quickly as you can. Once you reach the volcano's mouth, you shall be greeted by one of two spirit gates. If you manage to pass through the gate, carefully climb down to the lava-filled pit of Mount Mulberry's core, where you must retrieve the sacred urn containing my physical remains. But be quick, as the eruption could occur at any sudden moment. With the urn in your possession, ascend up the pit, then scale back down the side of the mountain with great haste. 
While you are all working towards the same goal of liberating the island, only one team can return with the urn and be declared the true heroes of the day. While I have faith that this land will be saved, I am quite curious to see which of you will be the bravest, smartest, quickest, and greatest champion of the bunch. But either way, as I always say, I hope you find your silver lining! <laughs> Now, Emissary, if you'd be so kind as to transport these four guilds to their proper destination. With pleasure, Empress. This is it, folks. Our competitors are raring and ready to go. So let's get them all in place and let the treacherous trek up Mount Mulberry to decide the campaign of champions next winning team begin! That's our cue, people. Let's win this thing. Whoa, check it out! Halt! Who goes there? A trespasser! Please be a short cutscene, please be a short cutscene, please be a short cutscene. Only those who wish to give up their physical form and become souls of the eternal afterlife may pass this threshold and enter the crater's core. Present to me the soul that wishes to leave the corporeal shell behind, and the flame that blocks your way shall be extinguished. Horrors! Does this mean we must sacrifice ourselves in order to complete the trial? It said just a single soul is needed. I'll do it! Let me take the fall and you guys can go through! We don't have time to waste, right? Hold up there, kiddo. The ghost we give up doesn't have to be one of our own. Wait... Two spirit gates and there's four teams, so... Well now, there's our ticket. Huh... He looks familiar. This guy... Now, mortals... Present to me the soul that wishes to leave the corporeal shell behind, and the flame that blocks your way shall be extinguished. We don't have a lot of time here, so... you all ready? Steph, mind if I call the shots on this team? You, me, Alpha, and Hattie. Uh, sure? Do you have a plan? Sort of. The Alliance's fate lies within thine hands! Good luck! Here goes.
he's doing it! Echoing Softy here, do you have a plan? Stay calm. Just wait and see. Please let this work. What just happened? We may have just hit the jackpot in more than a few ways. I have removed the sacred fire to allow passage into the core, where you may leave behind your physical remains to gain immortality as a spirit of this island. Let's keep going. Are you serious? These must be the urns of both Empress Kinder Spirit and her loyalist followers. Uh, of course. The NPCs have been going on and on about giving up their bodies as well. I should have known something like this would happen. It's alright. The new victors haven't gotten here yet. Finishing up that last match so quickly probably gave us a good head start. Only one of these can be Kinder Spirit's urn, so let's put our heads together and figure it out quick. Guildmaster, this knight believes the coloration of the correct urn would be among these here, painted with a vibrant shade of violet. Oh yeah, like the purple flame thing that was in Tamarillo Town. They said it was derived from like an evil part of her soul. But would it fit the bill in this case, you think? It's definitely a start. So next would be the symbols on them. Bet they're related to what she's into. She's a singer, so one of the ones with a waveform on it would make sense. Good call, as opposed to the sheet lines. It's gotta be that specific. Oh, oh, remember the chef guy that said she was a big fan of chaotic coconut milk? These little dark circles might be it, because some of the other ones have other types of fruit symbols. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we've wired it down to those few things. Is there anything else? Violet coloration adorned with symbols of a chaotic coconut and a sonic imprint to represent the vibrations of her beloved performances. These two, right here. Only difference is gold top or silver top. Crap, they're here. Keep it cool. Don't draw any attention. Stay perfectly still and let them start searching. We better make a decision quick before they figure it out too, and they will. They've been to all the same places as us and can just as easily come to the same conclusion. 50-50 chance, any ideas? My gut says gold, mainly just because it's of greater value than silver, but I'm open to counter-arguments. It fits your hair color, and it's at the top, but then the waveform would make more sense to be above the coconuts, like it's her mouth, and then her stomach below. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking it. No, that's not a bad thought, but I'm not 100% sold either. Either way, we need to grab one and book it for the exit. We'll go out the way the new victors came in, since that tunnel is closer. Speaking of which, they are approaching us ever closer. Do or die time, gold or silver? Silver! The eruption! It has begun! Go, go, go!
crap. Quadruple crap. No, no, not now! Don't panic, we're not out of this yet! No matter what you choose, this is all going to end the same. So you can either draw this out with a fight, or hand over the urn and save yourself the wasted time. After all this, do you really think I'm just gonna lay down and give up? This is the last obstacle. We beat these guys and we make it to the finals. Who's in? I am. I as well. This is it. <sighs> Fine. Sorry to be the one to put your time in the campaign to an end. All or nothing. Bring it on.
No. No. The conclave was concluded, and the campaign had been conquered. And so, a champion was chosen. Hey, pal. Thanks for coming together for this so quickly, guys. Of course. What did you want to talk about? So... Alpha and I were mulling over this for the last day or so. You know, on if there's maybe anything we can do to still help Stephanie's sister. <sighs> Remind me again, how much does she need in order to fix everything? The treatment that could save her costs $10,000, and we agreed to give her that much from the final prize amount. If we'd won. I know this is probably a long shot at this point, but after thinking it over for a while with Curb, I had an idea. I think we should start a fundraiser. Yeah, that crossed my mind too. In fact, it's probably the only option we have now. And we know Steph's probably not going to like this, what with it being her family's personal business and all, but... I knew her sister very well when she was in my old guild. She's the type of person who doesn't want to burden others with worrying about her. She'd probably hate it, but I agree with you guys. Then they can both be upset, that's fine. But if we can get even close to that 10,000 pulled together, we can save someone's life. And that's what's most important, right? Maybe, just so we can still keep within her wishes, we can start off having it be a closed fundraiser? Like, we could just go to some people personally, family and friends, so we can explain the basic details without disclosing any names. The vagueness might dampen how many donations we get, but that's a fair compromise. I'd have to be delicate about the information given, but I could try reaching out to a few people from Tales of the Terrain and maybe even the Casto Dreams. You know what sucks the worst about all this? Now, Zeto's got everything. The title and the prize. He doesn't even need that frickin' money, let alone want it. If there was some morally sound way for me to Robin Hood that cash from him, I would. He failed her. In the end, we couldn't even reach Zeto. Hell, we couldn't even get to the final event for a shot at that prize in the first place. But it's not too late for us to win the battle that really matters. I have an idea that might help. I'll talk to you guys later. We'll keep you posted then. You do the same. I know what you've done this entire time. If you want your secret to stay safe, meet me at Chalcedony Canyon, Sector Z, tomorrow at noon. Maybe we can both help each other out of a bad situation. Be there. Well, what a surprise I woke up to. Let's cut the small talk and get right to business. <sighs> no fun as always, but if you insist. Now, what exactly was it you were getting at in your little email? Because it half sounded like a threat, but the other half said something about helping each other out. I formally challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one match. Really? And why on earth would you want to invite that embarrassment on yourself? Because I need the prize money you won from the competition. You need it, huh? Interesting. Well, for you to have the gall to straight up challenge me, even when you've got a pretty good idea of what you're up against, that's commendable. If I beat you in a one-on-one -on -one match, you give me the money and we... Never speak of this again. Such confidence over absolutely nothing. And yet you've intrigued me. Well, money is no object to me, so what's a $20,000 bet that I know I can't lose? All right, before I say yes to your romantic proposal, I just want to know one other thing. 
Did Tiger Lily put you up to this? No, I'm doing this completely on my own. Fair enough. Even though you and your buddies never really came even a tiny bit close to taking me down, you got guts. The champion of all champions accepts. Let's do this. Oh, I see what you're doing. After all that big talk, I guess the only way anyone could stand a chance against me is if they cheat. Bring it on. Did you think I was going easy on you? You still haven't learned. Okay. It's over. I know you tried your best, but it's not enough. You got a choice here. I'll let you escape if you choose to back out of the match, or you can try in vain. Either way, I'm winning this. So what's it gonna be? do this one thing. Pathetic. So sorry. Your last chance just went up in smoke, pal.
Thank you.